analyzing those data signals and given the, uh, given the what our reporter actually said from the ground, uh, things don't look that positive. Yes. But uh, but do you still uh, hold some positivity? Actually, uh, most of the things it's a go-to move protocol. When things don't go in uh, space stations, we uh, directly say data should be analyzed. Uh, that's a soft way of saying things did not go well. So uh, the, it's basically the failure analysis. That's where we learn more. As I told you before, we uh, when during the Indira Gandhi time, the, everybody were clapping and everything fell into the sea. When that, we did the failure analysis, and next time we succeeded it. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, I think the failure analysis was, will give us more insight on how to make it more successful. Can I put it in this way that uh, the results were not achieved what we are looking for? Uh, I think so. So far, the uh, whatever information has been thrown in, I think so. And uh, but that data that was collected will stand in good stead for a subsequent mission as well. Yes. With uh, a yes. great deal of calibration, a further yes. calibration, a lot more uh, a better understanding as to how to redesign the whole system. Yes. Uh, to go in uh, is there so you know positives are there positives yes. are there positives are there to be seen M we can learn a lot of things from failure because we won't repeat that mm -hmm. so uh, the whatever we have done right so far is already with us only the final part of where the test done has uh, uh, was a problem so i think more testing has to be done in that phase maybe we can redesign and call it a chandrayaan 3 prime minister modi has assured assured isro and the scientists that he is proud of their efforts, number one, and number two, that he is with them, which means Chandrayaan 2 might be in, might be in place for the near future, uh, Nikhil. And, and, and it's very important for the leader, for the leader of the country, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the leader of the country, to actually say those words of encouragement, say those words of wisdom uh, to its... Uh, to all the to all the ISRO scientists and to the and to the people associated with it, because because as you rightly said uh, that you know a lot of efforts have gone in and you could see the faces the the shoulders were dropping down uh, like as it is in in terms of a uh, uh, cricket match uh, if uh, like New Zealand how New Zealand lost uh, to England in the Super Over final mm -hmm. it's almost like it demoralizes you it demoralizes your morale goes down uh, you you don't you don't feel good but as uh, madhu rightly pointed out earlier uh, like you know the, the best part about being a scientist is is that you just move on you just move ahead you don't worry about the results which have happened in the past mm -hmm. all you focus is is the next target and the next target is to and not just have a successful landing but also uh, to carry out uh, to carry out the chandrayaan mission uh, maybe in the near future Nikhil. absolutely and we just saw that big pat on the back of Dr. K. Shivan and uh, P. Kuni Krishnan, the, uh, the decision makers of uh, this particular uh, project as well. And, uh, you, know, you know, lally forth and move forward. You know, dig in your heels and uh, get back uh, to working on the very next mission as well. But uh, again, you know, uh, with, without going into conclusions as well, this was a mission that was very important. This was a mission that had to be done for a further understanding. And there are a lot of recalibrations that can be done as well. You learn from such missions. That is exactly what happens. So this mission in many, in many respects was a resounding uh, success in, its, in terms of its achievements. Perhaps uh, the outcomes uh, may have been different. But take a look. He's uh, here uh, a little while ago, just before he left, interacting with a lot of students, excited students. They were there. They enjoyed the atmosphere. They were there to be part of history, and they are and were and will always be a part of history, Abhiji. I uh, have uh, Suraj Suresh who's joining us live uh, from Pena as well. Suraj, what is, seems to be the series of messages that might be going around right now uh, uh, as an understanding uh, as to what is happening? We've heard the official statement from ISRO as well. It is the same as what uh, Dr. K. Sivan said. Is there any other uh, uh, message that might be going about right now? Well, uh, one thing which we have to understand is that uh, Dr. K. Sibin is the chairman and he would have given the same statement which he went ahead and said in the control room, the monitoring center. The same thing uh, the subordinates or the officials from the ISRO came about and they also announced the same thing. The main question which was raised by one of the journalists was that whenever 
uh, they go ahead whenever there is uh, any of these press conferences or whenever there is uh, uh, you know something which is not seen that is if there is uh, some faults which are seen in any of the missions then the chairman himself comes forward and he addresses the media but that was not what was seen here Nikhil so clearly uh, somewhere a lot of questions being raised as to why the chair, uh, chairman is not here why he is not facing the media why he is not answering the questions but at the same time what we love to see is that they are stressing on one point that the data has to be analyzed. They are not uh, saying that uh, you know uh, it is a complete failure. Uh, the entire lander has crashed. None of that sort. So somewhere there is hope. That is what they are counting on, and uh, they have uh, said the same thing to us as well. The data, accumulating all of the data and analyzing all of the data, will take some time. So once they finish all of that, they will be approaching uh, the media once again, and they will be going ahead and they will be giving their statement once again as to what exactly happened. So till they get their data, till they accumulate their data and analyze the data, uh, they will not be going ahead and considering this as a failure or considering this as a, a complete collapse, they will not be giving it a conclusion, but they will be saying that they will be analyzing. So that is something which we will have to see a big question mark which is remain now. Uh, you know, coming back to you, Suraj, you were describing how this uh, uh, is a little different from other uh, press statements that were made by uh, the by the ISRO. It is uh, perhaps uh, warranting an understanding, perhaps a uh, benefit of doubt uh, that may be given to the chairman uh, that there are certain protocols that have to be achieved, an official report from the mission team and only then he can speak in greater detail. Uh, the uh, statement that was given was also the exact same what he had given uh, to, to the, uh, um, uh, to the uh, mission control room as well. So having said that, what, uh, uh, is, there, is there any benefit of doubt that uh, perhaps uh, the media has been giving him as well? One thing which you have to see is that uh, as per the schedule given by ISRO, that is uh, at 1.30, 1 1.40 is when the descent will begin and after which by 1.53 it will, going, uh, it will be uh, landing and by 1.56 we will be getting a clearer picture and then uh, by around 3.34 is when they will be beginning the entire rover, that is the rover will roll out and then they will start analyzing the entire surface. So, this was the entire uh, protocol which they were following or the schedule which they were following and at 6 a.m. they were supposed to address a press conference wherein they would answer all of their questions uh, but now it has been called off that is something which have to be kept in mind the press conference has been called off as of now that's why they said when we come to a conclusion when we analyze all of the data when we get a clearer picture that is when we will be going forward and that is when we will be getting and we can answer all of your questions so till then do not ask us any questions that is a clearer picture given uh, do not ask us any questions, do not come to any conclusions till we give a certified statement or a, a report. After we analyze the report, we give a proper statement. Do not go ahead and consider this as a failure or do not consider this as a mission failure. That is what we are speaking about. So um, the press conference which was supposed to happen, that has been cancelled. Prime Minister Modi was supposed to address the nation, that has been cancelled. So clearly uh, no possibility at all uh, that any of this will be taking place. They are in fact asking uh, everyone to vacate uh, the campus as well uh, because uh, there is not going to be any press conference and then all of the scientists now will be busy in analyzing and uh, accumulating all of the data. That is something Thing which we'll be focusing on now. Uh, so clearly, everything has been called off. Uh, but at the same time, what we love to see is that what went wrong. Uh, uh, that is uh, what we'll have to wait for. How many days will it take? Uh, no one knows. They didn't answer how many days it might take. But uh, in the near future, we will know what exactly went wrong, whether it is a success or a failure. Uh, it is a success in terms of uh, achieving something which no one even planned off or no one even dared to achieve. That is something which we have to keep in mind as Indians, as citizens, uh, 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 to be proud of the research and development in India, to be proud of uh, the entire uh, you know, stand taking and bringing on such projects, bringing in all of these parts made in India and encouraging these scientists. That is something which we have to see. So it is a big success in that way. But the last minute, you know, reaching and landing on moon, that is something which might have happened. We still don't know. We cannot come to conclusions. We'll have to wait and watch, uh, Nikhil.
Absolutely, Suraj. Well, landing on the moon is in itself a huge achievement. Suraj, I have a couple of questions for you. Number one, as you said, that the press that the press conference hasn't been has been uh, I beg your pardon has been called off, and uh, has there been a time frame which have been given, uh, which have been which have been given uh, to the to the journalists over there? Number one, and number two, what was the scenario like in? Uh, at the center between 153 and 25 or 26 uh, when actually the landing actually took place there was there was uh, what we could see from a distance was that uh, there was deafening silence over there the, there was a confusing look uh, on everyone's face case even body language wasn't that great and he also interacted with the prime minister you were there uh, what actually went through uh, those 13 to 15 minutes uh, suraj well uh, like i was speaking of firstly uh, the first question uh, Uh, asked by Abhijit. Firstly, uh, yes, uh, the press conference was called, but uh, no time frame has been given. Uh, even though they have called off the press conference, which was called earlier, as per the schedule, no time frame has been given. That is what I uh, uh, wanted to state, because time frame is something which they cannot give now because they don't know how much data they have got till when they have got the connection. Because till 2.1 kilometers is what they are saying, but the actual data till when they have got, they will have to compare all of those data. and where exactly was the error those minute details those minute errors if at all those have to be analyzed and what went wrong what was the reason for that minute error was it a calculation error was it a arithmetic error or was it a malfunction all of this is something which has to be kept in mind before going ahead and giving a time frame as to when they can address the media so once they get a clarification for themselves they get an understanding for themselves there is a scientist then they will be going ahead uh, there is a chairman himself will be announcing a date and he will give a statement he will give a clarification as to what went wrong but until then we will have to wait we will have to wait till the chairman gives a uh, you know clearer picture that is first thing secondly yes uh, those 15 minutes uh, which you are speaking of complete silence even in the hall which we are in 15 minutes of dead silence we don't know what exactly is happening they are silent we are silent uh, and the, it is complete pin drop silence we are waiting for that graph we are waiting for those claps because a clap there in that monitoring center is a sigh of relief for all of us here it is a sigh of relief for everyone watching everyone waiting for the lander to go ahead and land on the surface of moon those claps were something which we were waiting for nothing there still waiting those 15 minutes that is what we are speaking of 15 minutes of complete silence was what was witnessed in this particular hall is what was witnessed in the monitoring center as well after which case even speaks to the director he speaks to the person who is monitoring gets some data and then understands what exactly has happened communication has been lost then they go to prime minister try to explain to him as well somewhere trying to cheer up the chairperson the chairman they uh, are trying to say that it is okay it is completely okay and then comes down speaks to the scientists and says we are proud of all of you we this is not the first time we will do it again and uh, kind of giving us a relief for all of the scientists but at the same time a moral support that is what we are speaking about from the first minute that we got to know prime minister modi is coming a moral support is something which has to be given a moral boost to all of these scientists because if it's a victory or if it's not a victory that does not matter at this particular point in time that support system needs to be there a prime minister of this country was present along with them was witnessing this uh, moment and if it went uh, either ways they, they would have him uh, uh, there and they would know how much uh, you know they have struggled for this particular project so that is a sigh of relief for all of them they know that there will be support given to them they will work hard if it does not work out if they get to know that it has failed they will not give up at this particular point in time the government will not give up and they will work towards it that is the kind of belief that they have and that is something which has to be kept in mind so even though the dead uh you know it was a dead silence for those 15 minutes for the next few years it will not be dead silence from isro is what we can expect nikhil uh, right suraj uh, well uh, uh, the, the silence was still there thanks a lot for all the updates suraj it's it has been a long day for you uh well nikhil as uh, as suraj rightly pointed out uh, this is just the start uh, this is mm -hmm. not the end this is just the beginning of something big to come in the days to come and like i'll repeat myself again over here 
that the data is yet to be analyzed and I have my fingers crossed and hopefully the whole nation has it uh, and possibly data will be analyzed and we will get something out of it, Nikhil, isn't it? I love how uh, our colleague put it at the end over there, you know, it may have been dead silence for a few minutes there, but, uh, you know, going forward, there will be absolutely no silence whatsoever. It will be a time of uh, a great deal of celebration and celebratory noises as well. It is a, a, a great achievement that we have made it this far uh, and now with the analysis of the data it is only to be known what can be done next how to fix things that is the positive that needs to be looked at uh, by uh, uh, Isro and I'm sure that is what is being done that is how a scientist mind works we heard uh, Madhu Kashyap uh, give us that insight as well Abhijit.